All right, so we've got a setup here where we can show the difference between an interstitial alloy and a substitutional alloy. So over here, I'm going to take uh, some little tiny wooden balls, which are much smaller than the size of these tennis balls here. And I'm going to put them in the little spaces in between these atoms. Then I can put the tennis balls right back on top and they pretty much fill in the spaces just like they would in a normal metal. Let's put a couple more up here. Okay, on this tray, I'm going to make a substitutional alloy. So I'm going to substitute, instead of putting tennis balls, I'm going to put these little baseballs in there. About the same size, just slightly different. But I can still pack them together in the spaces above the other rows of atoms. And here we've got an example of a substitutional alloy. Now to uh, simulate the properties of these things, I'm gonna tip these trays up and we're gonna try to measure kind of at what angle these piles collapse. That's gonna be sort of an analogy to the malleability or the bendability of these different types of alloys. Go over there, you can see it this way. All right. Here we go. Tipping, tipping, tipping. Jingles and zing. Okay, and the substitutional has started to collapse. A little bit of collapse on the interstitial. Okay, the substitutional is fully collapsed, but the interstitial, I can keep going to a much greater angle before the atoms fully collapse. That's it. Okay. That's not going to get any light.